Hello, welcome back to Ewade Cooks. How about that one time you have already planned to impress someone by making pounded yam for them, but suddenly there's a power cut. You heard that right. <laughs> no electricity, not, your inverter is not working, no generator. What do you do? You pound yam in the way our fathers have always um, pounded it. Our mothers, <laughs> before the fathers get angry. So, mothers and fathers, please. So let me show you how to do this. First, you need to cut your yam and put on fire. You can see I've already done this. It's usually better to cut them in bigger chunks when you are pounding with the mortar and pizza. So let's get down to this. Are you ready? Let's go. First, you want to bring out your mortar and pizza and rinse it with water. Just ordinary water, no soap. So now I have finished rinsing the mortar and pizza and it's time to get to it. <laughs> um, I think I need to mention at this point that it was my father that taught me how to pound yam. One day he said, how can someone give birth to a child that doesn't know how to pound yam? You will learn today. <laughs> That's actually his favorite food. So shout out to Baba, my brother. <laughs> yeah. The first thing you want to check is if the yam is ready for pounding. See, when you dip your fork into it, it needs to split. And um, may I remind you that it's not every type of yam that can be used for pounding. You can see this one is still a little bit hard. So I'll just leave it for, okay, some of it is done. So I'll just leave it for like three minutes more. Then we'll get down to the pounding. So the first thing you want to do, you can see there's still some water in it. So you scoop the water out this way. Can you see that? Also, also you cannot pound yam without having this on the side. You need to keep the extra water on the side. So here's mine. Yeah. Now it's time for the action. The first thing you need to notice is that when you are putting in your yam from the pot, you need to put it to the front here of the mortar, okay? So let's do that now. Because um, it's just me, you know, normally when they are feeding into the yam, into the mortar for you, you need to immediately start pounding it but because the yam is not much and it's just me i can afford to do this Let's go. Can you see that? That's the first step. You understand? Uh -huh. There's still more here. Basically, at this point, what you are doing is to match the yam. You always hear me talk about match potatoes. So at this point, what you are doing is matching the yam. You haven't started pounding. <laughs> hey, it is well low. Let me know, I won't tell you what's making me laugh. 
okay the final piece remember i told you that normally you're not meant to make the yam this tiny you understand you're meant to make it bigger when you're when you're using a mortar and pizza Can you see at this point let me zoom in for you at this point like everything is mashed it's now time to start pounding easy baby You see, I'm pounding from all the sides of the mortar, not just one side. Can you hear that sound? So at this point, it's time to, huh, I don't know what they call it in English, but we'll call it rain in Yoruba. So you stick your foot on the bottom of the motor, push the piece this way. You turn the honey yam around. Can see how smooth the pounded yam is looking now can you see how smooth is looking it's at this point you add just a little water so it's the water that is left over from boiling the yam that we'll be using for the pounded yam do you get so you do this you pack it into the center some people don't even bother adding any water do you understand some people don't add anything they just pack it and eat at this point but i'll be adding some water to mine note the quantity of the water you are not going to put in too much and you'll be careful that those um tiny tiny yam particles in the water doesn't get into the yam you don't want to start from the onset again so this point again you still do that same really <laughs> like you're just trying to get the pounded yam to absorb the water and you see it gives the pounded yam this shiny this shiny look <laughs> try to use your legs to hold your mother well so you don't end up destroying something in your kitchen <laughs> So you are no longer pounding you are just making your pounded yam absorb the water at this point brothers and sisters ladies and gentlemen it's time to eat pounded yam Mind 
and you have them pounded yam in over <laughs> if not up to 12 13 years <gasps> so once you learn something you learn it for life it doesn't just go away shout out to chief abiodo and jai jp justice of the peace i love you papa yeah <laughs> And that's it. <laughs> Let's pack it so you see what it looks like. You know, some people actually put their pounded yam in nylon. My father will say, no, Inyo is a human being. That means pounded yam is a human being. When you put nylon around it, you're suffocating it. Imagine someone putting nylon in, in your nose or to cover your nose. That's how passionate my father is about pounded yam. So let's get a plate and put it into it. So you, you, you have to pack everything together in one spot. And uh, let me just show you. Can you see that? Let me show you how nice the pounded yam looks. Mm. Can you see? So you can't find any lumps in this type of pounded yam. Lump for me. You see? I give you the permission to share this video to as many people as you know. Please like, comment, leave your feedback and subscribe to my channel i love you oh confirm abiko confirm <laughs> oh confirm hmm so what kind of soup are you having with this pounded yam always tastes so good with okra but have you tried fisherman okra soup i mean you don't want to go through all of that stress sweating and all of that and not have a very nice soup with that kind of pounded yam. Note, I did not make this soup. So tell me, what kind of soup would you have with this pounded yam? Anyway, I'll leave you to ruminate on that. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for keeping up with me. Thank you for all the love you have shown on my channel. Until next time, bye. And I hope you have been able to learn one thing from this video. <laughs> Alright, bye.